buckets in, late in the game. Evan, did they specifically say they were going to go inside to you, or did it just work out that way? It just worked out that way. Uh, I don't they just worked, yeah, <laughs> simple as that. It just worked out that way. Uh, I posted up strong, like I'm, like I was told, like we do in offense. Uh, I think it was a craft that delivered. I think craft, yes, yes, it was. Craft delivered the pass. <laughs> <laughs> I seen I had a smaller defender on me, so I just like was gonna try to power through him. Eric, uh, you playing Trey Burke tonight? Did you look forward to this matchup? Did you this week? Uh, absolutely. You know, any time you get to play against a, a great guy like him, uh, you know, you always get that little bit of incentive to you can go out there and, and see what you can do. Um, and I think as a team, we did a great job stepping up to that challenge. Um, our, our five men was the biggest biggest defensive position for this game, and, you know, they did a great job coming in and, and doing what they needed to. Uh, just tell me, with uh, Duke losing yesterday and Michigan North, they become number one in the future. Did that change the mood of the locker room any time today? Uh, not a ton, you know. Uh, regardless of what their record is, you know, they're a great basketball team and they can have a lot of guys out there that can score the ball and, and do a lot of things that we may not have seen to this point. Um, and everything else aside, you know, it's, it's, it's Ohio State, Michigan. So, you know, we, they were going to come ready to play and, and we were going to come ready to play. And, and fortunately enough, we were able to come out on top. Aaron and Deshaun, what was different tonight? Uh, some of your losses this year and last year, you've had leads in the second half and lost the game. Today, you were able to come back and win it. What was different today? Um, we showed toughness, you know, and we showed composure. You know, they they hit some big shots, they got some couple steals. We showed our composure and we stayed together as a team. And we we got some key rebounds at the end, and and that's what it's all about: get them stops and them key rebounds. And you'll be it, it's, it's over. I mean, it, the ball was on our hands. Yeah, like D, like DT said, um, I think we've you know we've been through the battles, we've been through the struggles, um, and. Uh, we did a great job of sticking together today. Um, I think in, in the past we might have splintered apart when they went on that run, and we just kind of got together and, and took a couple deep breaths and understood that our systems work has worked throughout the game and it's going to work, you know, down the stretch. So um, we just tried to stick to it, uh, and, and we did a great job, you know, grabbing rebounds, knocking down free throws at the end of the game. Things you need to do to to win tight ball games. Your approach took a huge jump from Illinois to Purdue. It seems like it continued today. What has to happen to not go back to Illinois and keep going. We got to keep having the same mental approach that we had. Uh, after the Illinois game, uh, probably the, uh, the biggest disappointment in our, even in ourselves. Like our coaches, everybody was extremely disappointed in our effort. And and we the type of team, if we come with that kind, if we come with that kind of effort, we're gonna get beat up and beat every game in this league. We know the kind of we know the kind of team we have. We know we got, how we got to play. We got to play physical, grind it out, defensive, strong defensively, and we got to have a good mind to win games. And that's what we did today. Are the sophomores buying into that? They are. They really are. Yes. Aaron, Those... in the last 30 seconds, a couple times, it comes down to um, Burke coming down. He's going to take a three in, in your line. What, what's your, what are you thinking there? Just make sure that it's not an easy three or? I mean, he could, he could have done either one at, the, at that point. Um, you know, we're, we're up two, so um, that makes it a little more challenging for, for me. But, um Fortunately enough, that, that shotty shot, you know, rim, rimmed in and out, um, kind of turned around, and we, we grabbed the rebound. So uh, I have great trust in the guys behind me, uh, and, and I know that it may seem like I'm out there by myself, kind of on an island, but um, if he does go by me, I just need to pressure him enough to, to hopefully make a decision uh, and, and maybe try to get out of his hands, um, contest shots and things like that, um, and, and the rest is kind of how it goes. Kevin uh, the, the baskets. You were asked about earlier. You had three in a row. You had two, I think. Deshaun had one. Looks like that, right at the right at the basket. Is that what you guys are going to have to get more of to shoot better against teams switching Bless you. against your zone defense? Yeah, I mean, you know, it's it's a mismatch. You know, if they switch everybody, it's a mismatch with me and Rab down there. And, you know, we just try to get our solid base. We know we trust Kraft and Shannon to throw it down there when we um, got good angles at the basket, and, and it works. You know, it's easy buckets, and then and then they will stop them from switching. Uh, the, Deshaun, just, oh, I'm sorry. Oh yeah, yeah like what Deshaun says, it's, it's basketball. Basketball plays. Uh, teams want to switch. You attack the mismatch. Uh, like they had the five man guard and our point guards. At one point they drive them. If they can get by them and finish quick, quick finish get bucket. If they can, uh, if the man stepped up, drop off, lay the ball in. Basketball, simple plays. Uh, Deshaun, Aaron, just offensively for you guys, uh, it seemed like a lot of times you're almost working the shot clock down. Was that 
part of the game plan and talk about what was what was working off. You guys said 28 points real quick, and then 28, I think, the last 32 minutes was was it Michigan's defense? Uh, what what got you through? I guess offensively, uh, we made shots when we executed real well. I mean, and we we made them play defense. You know, Illinois game. I, we feel like we didn't uh, make Illinois play defense, you know, executing, you know, cutting real hard, and, and that's what we did. We executed real well. We, we held the ball, and, and Coach, we did in practice. We had to run through our plays twice, you know, to make the defense move, and that's what we did. Guys, Coach Mata talks sometimes about how you only have one senior, and you guys, you know, maybe aren't the most veteran team in the world, but they're playing a lot of freshmen. Did you guys feel like a veteran team today just with in, in how you played and how you executed the shots you got? Did you feel – like a smart veteran team? I think at times, and I also think, you know, we play as a, as a young team that doesn't really have it figured out yet either. Uh, and not that we, we should have it figured out yet. You know, it's still early. Um, and I think we have a good backbone to lean on uh, with me, Deshaun, uh, Rav, and Lenzel, who have, you know, been here for three years and been with some great leaders and seen what it's what it takes to, to be successful at, at this high of a level. So, um we have a great backbone, and, and those younger guys are coming along tremendously. So we just continue to find a way to get better uh, and continue to build off build off this. During the play, mm. Trey steals the ball. Mm. Newton's going down. Are you just thinking you got to foul him before he gets it up there? Yeah. Did you know that you did? Or did you feel confident that you, they called that foul before? Uh, yes. I, right after he took it, I knew I'd, I was going to try to foul him, so, you know. Um, Good thing we don't have continuation because he made that layup too. <laughs> but yeah. And Aaron, when we were talking on Friday, mentioning Coach Mata was 16 and three against Michigan, and you were saying, "Well, it doesn't really do anything for you." Hopefully, we can talk about that after the game Sunday. What do you think of 17 and three now? I mean, it's it's awesome. You know, I think that just a, is a test to Coach uh, and the way he's able to get his players ready to go for um, this big type of game. Uh, and, and the players that he recruits, uh, Coach is going to be the first one to kind of push it off onto us. But uh, he does a phenomenal job of getting us ready throughout the week and throughout practice and even on game day, really making sure our mind's into it. Uh, and, and, and that's why he's one of, the, one of the better coaches in the country, uh, and, and we're very fortunate enough to, to play for him.